Hi, and welcome to Dr. V's AP Chemistry webcast. Today we're talking about the factors that affect acid strength. You really need to understand what makes acids stronger or weaker and be able to compare them in some fairly simple ways. So one of the important things that affects the strength of an acid is the polarity of the bond between the hydrogen and whatever it's attached to. As that bond becomes either weaker or more importantly, more polar, the compound's going to end up being more acidic. Let's look at a little comparison to help make this clearer. All right, if we look at H2S and HCl, the HS bond is not as polar as the HCl bond. H2S is a weak acid, HCl is a strong acid. So we can use these simple kinds of comparisons to predict which substance will be a stronger acid or a weaker acid. One of the things that comes up here is, why is HF a weak acid and not a strong acid? This is a common misconception for a lot of students, something they have trouble remembering. One explanation is that the bond between the hydrogen and the fluorine is very strong. So even though it's quite polar, very little dissociation ends up occurring when the HF is dissolved in water. So it's a bond energetics issue. This gets very complicated. Another thing to consider, a second explanation that was proposed in 1980, was that when HF dissociates to form the hydronium ion and the fluoride ion, these ions are really strongly attracted to each other, and they form an ion pair, which really stays together. So this ion pair means that you really don't have a lot of H3O plus hydronium ions floating around, and so although they do dissociate, they don't act like they dissociate. So that's kind of an interesting way to look at it as well. Now, oxy acids are a class of acids that contain an OH group where the O is then attached to some other atom. In uh, example A, the O is attached to a halogen. In example B, the O is attached to a carbon, so that's actually a carboxylic acid. Oxy acids are also acids as well, and this whole idea of the bond polarity affecting acid strength really does help us to explain behaviors of oxy acids. The halogen atom is more electronegative than the oxygen. And so as a result, electron density is pulled away from the oxygen-hydrogen bond toward the halogen atom. And then it becomes easier for the hydrogen ion, the proton, to pop off, in essence. And so we see in the HOCl atom, all right, the Ka is on the order of 10 to the negative 8. Chlorine is more electronegative than iodine. So in the HOI acid, the Ka is on the order of 10 to the negative 11th. So again, we see the more polar the bond, the easier it is for the acid to dissociate. As that other atom becomes more electronegative, then the compound becomes more acidic. And we can see this. We can actually go beyond just HClO and HIO and include the HBr. And we can see that pattern still holds. We can actually have series of oxy acids, so you may be familiar with the hypochlorous acid, HOCl, and chlorous acid, right, HCLO2, uh, chloric acid, HCLO3, and perchloric acid, HCLO4. And you'll see as we go from having one oxygen to four oxygens, we go from very weak acids to a strong acid. So we can actually generalize this for our series of oxy acids. For a series of oxy acids with the same central atom, the more oxygens you have around that central atom means the more acidic it will be, right? You have more oxygens, which are fairly electronegative, pulling electron density away from that hydrogen-oxygen bond for the acid. And therefore, again, it's easier for the hydrogen ion to dissociate when dissolved in water. Now, in carboxylic acids, the hydrogen atom is attached to the oxygen. And that's the only acidic acid in the formula. So even though there are plenty of other hydrogen atoms, especially in the, the benzoic acid, um, only the one hydrogen attached in that COOH group is actually an acidic hydrogen. One of the reasons carboxylic acids are reasonably uh, able to act as acids is because when they lose their hydrogen ion due to the dissociation, you actually get resonant structures in the carboxylic group that's left. And because of that, uh, it spreads out that electron density, spreads out that 
negative charge and it makes the structure more stable, gets you to a lower energy state. And so energetically, it's favorable for carboxylic acids to lose that hydrogen ion. This makes the compound more acidic. That's really everything I wanted to tell you about uh, comparing the strengths of acids and the factors that affect them. We'll talk another time.